Hi everyone, welcome to Kindergarten Reading Corner, powered by Gulf Coast Charter Academy South and Forza Education Management. Today we will be reading One Little Mouse by Dory Chaconis, illustrated by Lee Yuan Pham. One little mouse took a look at his house deep in the woodland ground. This nest is too small, not roomy at all. There must be a new one around. Two blackish moles peeked out of their holes and called to the mouse passing by. We have a fine nest in which you can rest, so little mouse thought he would try. But their diet was wormish, and that made mouse squirmish. He very soon said goodbye. Three meadow frogs were leaping from logs. You'll like sleeping here, they said. Mouse thanked them politely, but curling up tightly, he found it too cold for a bed. With a wheeze and a sneeze, he was sure he would freeze. This never will do, he said. Four bobwhite quail ran up from the veil. If you're looking for some place to rest, we have a nice hollow, and if you will follow, we think we have room for a guest. But Mouse found it bumpy and clumpy and lumpy, just too many eggs in the nest. Five greeny snakes from meadows and lakes hissed, come home with us if you dare. No, thank you, Mouse cried and hurried to hide. Snakes gave him a terrible scare. Six baby cottontails hopped along hilly trails. Come, little mouse, share our bed. Oh, thank you, said Mouse. I am in need of a house. And he happily laid down his head. But the cottontails bunched up and crunched up and hunched up. And soon I'll be scrunched up, Mouse said. Seven gray squirrels ran in circles and swirls then carried Mouse up to their nest. You may stay here with us if you don't make a fuss. And Mouse said, I will do my best. But the nut nest was clicky and clacky and cracky. He left without one bit of rest. Eight chickadees flew in with the breeze. We have a fine place in the willow. But Mouse said, dear me, I can't sleep in a tree. Imagine a branch for a pillow. Nine porcupine waddled by in a line. They called to the mouse, good day. We have a nice den right here in the glen. Thank you, mouse answered, I'll stay. But their sharp quills were sticking and picking and pricking. So mouse quickly went on his way. Ten small opossums were eating plum blossoms. Come on, sleep with us, they were singing. They nodded his tail and Mouse let out a wail to find himself suddenly sing swinging. I'm terribly tizzy, I'm upside down dizzy. A mouse tail is not made for clinging. Then Mouse turned around to the darkening wood and scampered along just as fast as he could back to his own little comfortable house so tiny and tidy, just right for a mouse. And when evening shadows crept over the ground and covered the woodland, here's what was found. 10 small opossums asleep in the glen, nine porcupine nestled up in their den, eight chickadees roosting high in the willows, seven gray squirrels using soft tails for pillows. Six baby cottontails snug in their nest. Five greeny snakes coiled up for a rest. Four bobwhite quail still very still in the veil. Three meadow frogs sleeping on logs. Two blackish moles deep in their holes. And one little mouse. One tired little mouse. One content little mouse. Sound asleep in his house. The end. I hope you enjoyed this week's story.